Yo, this your boy Jive Turkey live from the two, one, motherfucking five. All right, guys, what is up? And I'm actually playing with your boy Jive Turkey 600 uh, in this game. This was a live stream from, I don't know, a week or two ago because you guys know I haven't been playing on the Xbox at all, and this is an Xbox gameplay. But my last video I titled Inside the Mind of Chris. It was a CM9 gameplay, uh, 60 and 4. And it kind of pissed me off the feedback I got on the gameplay because um, I didn't really go into too much detail, even though that was the whole point of the video for the most part. And uh, people were just kind of leaving some negative comments, kind of pissed me off a bit. I don't know if it's the dude's the fact I'm already in a bad mood right now, or people just put me in it. But anyways, we're going to try and fix that problem. We're going to try and get into this one right now. And uh, this right here is the inside the mind of a Chris. And I'm Chris, if you guys didn't know. <laughs> anyways, uh, so what I'm going to be doing is talking about what I was thinking during the gameplay. And pretty much, you know, what I guess all you could say is pretty much what I was thinking, what I was planning on doing. So... Fallen is an interesting map. Uh, pretty much when I play, we pretty much just play BA. Um, I don't really move up too much in Fallen. I play, it's one of my more defensive maps. Um, I kind of sit back in this area right here and patrol this house and the A flag, as you could call. I'm using an M16 because I most of my battles, because I stay back so much, is long range. So M16 is a pretty good gun. Plus, I was leveling up, which happened to be convenient. And right here is an amazing spot to sit, this cinder block. You guys are going to see me put in some serious work this game. Uh, my perks this game are scavenger, hardline, and sit rep. Uh, I believe, if not, it might be stalker or marksman. Uh, I honestly don't know what my third tier perk is, but I pretty much always use scavenger hardline on M16. Um, it's just the way I like my M16. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Predator, Reaper, and I believe the Pavlo. Uh, I was kind of running a bit of higher streaks this game, just because uh, Fallen's a pretty good map for air support if your shit doesn't get shot down. And uh, right here, you guys can see I'm a little hesitant on poking my header at this corner because I just realized that we took C and we let them have B. Personally, I don't like the B spawn to let the enemies have on this map. I think it's kind of bad and they kind of spawn all over the place. And right here, uh, I'm guessing I'm using sit rep because I heard that guy walking and I picked up my Reaper with my FMGs and I pick up some vests and I'm probably about to go on my Reaper if not. Oh, actually, I think right here I was waiting to see if someone was going to come through this building because the B spawn, um, enemies love to come to this building when they're spawning B. And I think that's what I was waiting for for people to do. And actually, someone does actually try and do it and he almost gets me too. So right here is my Reaper. Not much to explain about the Reaper. I'm just pretty much inside the kill streak, you know, trying to kill as many people as I could. But on Fallen, uh, I try not to die. Um, I know that's kind of a stupid thing to say because I don't think anyone tries purposely to die. And if you do, I think there's a bit of a problem. But what I mean on Fallen is that Fallen's kind of like my Moab map. Um, for some reason, I always uh, run Assault on this map. And I end up cycling through my kill streaks twice, two or three times. And I end up getting the Moab a lot of time on Fallen. Uh, this is probably one of my better maps. I don't think it's definitely not the most uh, or my favorite map, but I do really good on it for the most part, probably because I play so defensive on it. As you guys can see right here, once again, I realize they still have B, and th th really all they can do when they come out of B is either go to C or A. So I'm camping them in this building. You guys can see me pick up a nice double kill here. Plus, they know I'm here, but what's so good about that spot right there is that cinder block on that. And unless they have someone has impact, the only thing they can see is their head or your head. And that's pretty much the only way you're going to get shot. And they have no cover coming into that hallway right there, and you have the big cement block. So as long as they don't have impact, I'd say you're, you're pretty much like at an 80% chance, 90% chance of winning that gunfight as long as your accuracy is somewhat decent. And this is the only other way they can come out of their spawn is this little spot right here, which uh, you can see me kind of guarding a bit and defending. Um, pretty much I'm just protecting A. They take C back. Uh, preferably I would have rather take B. I'm not 100% sure of what we do. But around this time, uh, what I'm still thinking is that they have B and C, so they're still going to be spawning here and they're still going to be around here. Um, a couple of them might be at C, but there's definitely still guys at B. And uh, like I said right here, what I tell you, two guys at B. And I almost get picked off here. Uh, I didn't have the greatest accuracy in that gunfight. And I call on my Pred. And right here, my Pred, you can see I didn't speed it up right away because I wanted to see where they were on the map. That's a really good way to use a Pred or like a Reaper or something like that. Um, when you call it in, don't try and kill the person right away. 
Uh, see where they are and we're being triple capped right now so i'm probably going to hop on a because a is probably the best flag to have on this map um i'd rather have a and b combo than a and or sorry as long as the a is in like the flag combo i'd say you're fine i don't really think c and b really works out the greatest spawn trapping on a uh i, I just don't like that spawn so uh i get my reaper again and uh, i'm gonna put in some work with this reaper i believe and i get my second pavlo still haven't died yet um Around this point, I was like, you know what? I'm on my second uh, rotation of streaks. Two pavlos equals an 11 kill streak times two. So I'm at around a, I'm around a 20 gun streak right now. Something close to that, hopefully. Um, maybe, maybe a bit lower, maybe like a 15. But I was kind of starting to think maybe Moab, maybe. I wasn't sure yet. And you can see I'm still patrolling this area. This pretty much is my favorite area to sit on this map. Um, the only thing you have to worry about is, you guys can see uh, when I killed this guy, the building above... Um, right here that's in front of me where that guy is right here that I'm shooting at um, sometimes snipers like to look out that window and they kind of pick you off which kind of could be annoying especially if you're not using assassin like I don't very often on Fallen and actually you guys can see my third tier perk was marksman I couldn't remember at the start of the commentary and look how many kills I get at this area and right here it starts lagging a bit but this is what I mean this is what I was thinking and uh, people might say this is kind of campy and kind of you know bitchy I guess you could say but why move if the kills just keep coming to me and right here I think uh, yeah, sorry, yeah, this right here. Uh, you guys see me move around the uh, cinder blocks, and I end up dying. I'm not sure how I died there. I think that was a pretty ridiculous death. I was pretty close to a Moab. But uh, that's pretty much... See how long of a life that was? That was a pretty long life. I think that was like a 30 kill streak uh, in total. Um, and it was pretty much all just me rotating around that cinder block and uh, watching A, because... When they have the C flag, they will be coming that way a lot to A. It's more likely them to go to A than B. It's just the way Fallen works. It's a weird map for domination, but uh, definitely a map that I'm, I, I really enjoy. And right here, we're being double capped again. Um, we had a bit of problems with some of the other guys on my team not being able to control the spawns. So I'm just trying to capture a flag here. Um, try and push them out of B, because like I said at the start of the video, I don't like them spawning B. And I think I might get shot in the back here. Yes, I get shot in the back. But, um, you know, I got a new life. Uh, we're triple capping now, so the spawns are going to be kind of all over. So I don't really know what I want to do at this point. I see them cap C. When I'm, whenever we triple cap, I always feel like someone's going to be behind me. I don't know why it is. Just I guess it's because that's Modern Warfare 3 pretty much. You know, spawns are bad enough as, are, as they already are. So the fact that when you triple cap, I don't know. I just feel like someone's behind me all the time, just like going to spawn there. And, uh, yeah. And right here is another good spot. Um, I'm just kind of choke. Uh, that's a bit of a choke point from them coming at a C. You could technically push up to like where the little hill is. If you guys know what I'm talking about. It's got like the little debris and tires. And you can head glitch the garden. Uh, it's just right up here in this corner in front of me. Right there where I'm aiming. You can go there. But there is a bit of a risk. Because they can spawn right where I am right now. And they can shoot you in the back. And that's why I don't do it all the time. Because if your teammates move up too much. Uh, you can get shot in the back. But if that doesn't happen, it's definitely probably, besides maybe the cinder blocks, this might be the most powerful spot in this uh, map for sure. And I get a pred here. And I think I save C. Um, yeah, I get a double, or I get a single actually just to uh, pick up C. And right around now, you guys can see the triple capping. I see they're still spawning in the garden, which is, um, you know, a good thing. I, I like to spawn because you have such an advantage of head glitching this hill. But um, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, you know, this is what I do right here. See, I get out of there because I know they're going to start spawning behind us at A and B soon. And you see my teammate gets sniped right next to me. So that's just because, you know, you play enough of the game. You realize what happens when you triple cap and where the spawns go and stuff like that. So as soon as I realize the triple cap happens, I kind of fall back a bit and, you know, just kind of wait to see where they're spawning because uh, they're probably going to be all over or even at your back. And now they're back to A and... Right here, I was pretty much just, you know, kind of playing the outskirts of the map. I realized the game was almost over, so I didn't really need to rush around and do too much or cap another flag. So pretty much, guys, this was the actual inside of the mind video. Uh, this is what I was thinking pretty much during the whole entire gameplay. Hopefully you guys actually enjoyed this one, unlike my last one. Thank you for watching Final Score 52-2. and two. Peace.